Did you guys know that the D75 will function as a quasi handheld GPS receiver? Let me show you. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so from the front of the radio, when you're ready to mark your position, make sure that your GPS has a lock, and then you're going to press and hold the zero key, which is also the mark key. Once you've pressed and held that button, you should get a screen like this. We're going to just go ahead and put this in the second slot right there. So I'm going to highlight, use my up and down arrows to highlight number two, and then press the enter key. Now, once you've got that position saved, you can just go ahead and press the back button. If we do a short press on the zero or mark key, that's going to bring up a list of items that we have marked already. Once we get to this, I'm going to press the menu key and then I'm going to press edit. And I want to rename this position. We'll just call this one the park. Once you've got that name, go ahead and press the enter button again. You can also update the icon if you would like. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and press the back button, which is this key right up here at the top. And let's press it one more time. That brings us back into our list where you can see that I've got that park identified. Now let's drive down the road and take a look at how we will use this data in the future. Okay, so I went ahead and came around to a different section of this park. Let's take a look at how we're going to use that data that we marked while ago. We'll go ahead and start by pressing the zero key on our keyboard, and that's going to bring you back into your list. Let's come down until park is highlighted, because that's where we want to navigate to, and we're going to use the TP button, which is this one in the top right corner uh, in this particular case, and I believe that stands for our two point. You'll notice that little black flag appears over there to the right hand side of the timestamp. Let's go ahead and click back to get out of this. Next, let's press our F key, followed by the mark button again, or key zero. Now, if we go one position to the right using our D-pad, you're going to see the position that we marked a few minutes ago with that park name. It's going to tell us the distance that we need to travel is 0.23 miles, and it's going to give us a heading. While I was editing the video, I realized that I had skipped over one uh, piece of information that you guys are probably interested in. When you're on this screen here that shows you how to navigate to that particular point that you've already marked, you can also use the F key to change the indicator from north up to a heads up display. Notice that it says HU down there just to the right of 2.2 miles. That's your indicator that's in heads up mode. Now, there's also another way that you can put the radio into GPS only mode. Now, I haven't played around with that enough to be able to explain that to you guys today. But now you know how you can use the D75 to mark a position and then get back to it at a later point in time. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.